Hi, this is Matthew Mead and this is a video to help you get started with Axis Camera Station. You can now download Axis Camera Station and there's videos included to help you get familiar with the product. This video will show you how to configure different functionality in the live view, how to replay recordings and finally how to export video. So after you've downloaded it, and installed it within configuration you will see the four demonstration cameras you can add these you're given the options to set the retention time which is the time that the recordings will be recorded for the location and in this case we only have the option for continuous recording this option sets all cameras to be recorded constantly in the actual product we also have an option to select motion detection recording, which sets up all cameras to be recorded by motion. You can leave these values as default and press install. Once the cameras are installed, you can go to the live view, which you will find at the top of the page. When you first go into Axis Camera Station, we have this basic navigation view, which lists the cameras at the bottom for simple navigation. This is suitable for our smaller installations, but may not be so suitable for larger installations. And here in the bottom right hand corner, you can see different options, but we're going to cover these in something called tree view. If you return to configuration, you can select tree view here. And this puts all of our assets on the left hand side rather than at the bottom. So let's take a closer look. Here we have a split view, which is self-explanatory. And here we can click on the different camera assets to view them. In Access Camera Station, we use tabs and you can open up different tabs for easy navigation to different camera assets. You can also select the cameras using control and dragging them into the viewing pane. Here, I'm using the mouse scroll wheel to zoom in to a multi-sensor panoramic camera. Here I've right hand clicked and I can add a digital preset. This is really useful in these larger multi-sensor cameras as you can get to a certain position really quickly. Here I'm just dragging the screen around to get to certain locations within the view. So at the station I'm going to create yet another digital preset. Right hand click. And then I can right hand click and select those presets. Here I've selected the panoramic overview camera and if you zoom in again using your mouse, you can move around the scene and Axis Camera Station automatically de-warps the image. These cameras are great overview cameras as you get a 360 image from the whole scene. At the bottom left, we have different options. We can create split views, sequences, and maps. And let's take a look how to create a split view. Again, the interface is really simple. You can just drag an image across into the scene and uh, you can actually resize the image to suit your need. Here I've used a hotspot and a hotspot um, is used 
Uh, when you select one of the other cameras or, or a camera icon on a map, then the image will appear in that hotspot. Here I've just dragged the images across into the scene and you see they're, they're resized and put into that space. So here we can select the hotspot view and when I select the individual cameras, they then appear in the, the larger uh, hotspot view. This is really nice um, because you can get the full overview of the site uh, as well as be able to get some more detail. So let's look at sequences. Again, select your assets, drag them across. You can select different dwell times to make it stay at a camera for a longer period of time. And you can also select multi views within the sequence. And then once you view it, you can see the camera will automatically switch from one camera to the next. In the bottom left, you can see the time it's going to take before changing to the next view. And if you want, you can actually press the hold button and it will stay on that camera. Again, uh, another useful tool for getting the whole overview of a site. Finally, let's take a look at maps. Maps are really useful. Camera descriptions and also when you hover on the camera descriptions give you an idea of where the camera is located, but nothing is more visual or easier to understand than having a map or a plan uh, within your system. So add the image, a JPEG or a bitmap, and then simply drag and drop the icons onto that plan. You can select all of the different icons by pressing Ctrl and A, and then you can change the color and the size of the icons to make it even easier to, to see what, what's going on. You can also add a coverage shape, uh, and this gives an indication of where the camera is viewing. Again, just making it even easier to show the operator where that camera is pointing. So once you save the map, it'll be there in the left hand side again, and you can hover on the icons and, and see the images, but also then click on them to, to see the camera image. Finally, let's take a look at the replay of recorded video. You can select recordings from the top menu or from the icon to the bottom left of the image. If you only review footage when there's been an incident, you can just open this tab straight away. When you open the recordings tab, you can see the timeline at the bottom of the screen. You can speed up and slow down the recording. Uh, the performance will be dependent on the PC you've loaded the application on. Uh, viewing the pre-recorded video isn't as efficient as viewing streams directly from Access Camera Station. Uh, you can again select multiple cameras and drag them onto the boarding view and see both of those cameras and they will be synchronized. And you can also drag the timeline to get to the images you require. and right hand clicking on an image enables you the ability to save a still. To export, click on the two small flags on the, the right hand side and you can drag the marker to start your export. So I'm just dragging it to see where the, uh, the zoom starts on, on this camera, so the far out part. These video clips just running a loop, so you will see them cycle around. And then I, I'm selecting the right hand uh, marker to get the end of the clip. When I let go, it returns to the original frame. This is a simple process because you don't have to enter the time and the date. To select both cameras to add to the export, I'm just holding shift when I select the second camera. Then I select export recordings, which opens the export tab. Once you've added the video to the export, you have access to various features. 
One of these features is redaction. So what is redaction? So redaction is the ability to remove or obscure elements within the exported video. It does not affect the original recorded material, only the exported material. They're really useful for GDPR or cases where um, individuals shouldn't be shown. So I've just changed the bounding box to a clear um, window. And here I've just slowed down the video. And what I'm going to do here is frame the car. So I just have to move and adjust the, the video as it plays through the frames. And I can change the size of this uh, window as well. And the great thing about Axis Camera Station is that you can choose to blur what's within this box or blur or obscure what's outside of this box. So what I'm going to do is um, I, I'm, I'm putting this box around the car as we zoom in and then I will blur everything outside that. So protect the identity of everyone outside this box. And this is a really useful function to be inbuilt rather than having to um, go to a third party for this functionality. So I think this is about it. Now I can right click to pixelate everything but this. And when I return to the beginning, you'll see that everything is pixelated apart from that vehicle. Uh, within the actual product as well, you can turn on analytics and make that process automatic. But um, in, in this case, we, we can only do the manual redaction. So we've added the redaction to that video clip. And now we can export within the preview window. We can now see that video is correct and, and ready to be exported. And if you want to add more recordings, just repeat the process and add recordings to the export so you build a complete case. The last step is to export the video. So we move to the left hand side of the pane where we have various options. You can choose to export as a password protected zip file, which protects the contents from being viewed by unauthorized personnel. And here you can see that uh, we've ticked the box to include the Axis file player. And the Axis file player can be played on any PC without installing the software. So it makes it easy to distribute the video. So I've selected ASF, which is the Axis format. I've clicked on export and you can see in the window on the right hand side, uh, the recordings are being exported. We then get a notification to say that it's finished. And then I can click on that and open the window. So here I take the video clips and I can just drop it onto the file player. The file player automatically opens and you can see both of those exported files are played back simultaneously within the file player. So I can give that file player to uh, a police officer or, or a third party. And you can click on the individual cameras, uh, bring them full size and uh, take snapshots. So I hope that has given you a quick brief overview of what you can do with Access Camera Station and the new inbuilt pre-recorded videos. Please note you can press F1 on any screen and it will take you directly to the correct page in the manual. Take a look at the manual, find out more about the product and also look for the help centre on Axis.com. Hope this video has helped you get started and get familiar with Axis Camera Station. Thank you for watching.